what it's like back home. What you know, last night, you know, in the first hour, we talked about some of the shared challenges that we have, whether that's about space. Uh, accommodation, students, whatever, you know, policy, procedure, whatever it might be. So really good chance for us to talk uh, that through. We want to quite early on get a sense of what your expectations are, what you're hoping to get out of the week, um, because actually, you know, there are things that we're not planned for. We can maybe flex the program or think about who you might be able to interact with during the course of the week. And we'll, we'll pop all of those onto a board. And then as we go through the week, we can check where we're at and whether we've uh, been able to achieve that. Um, I think what's quite striking is when we uh, when we look at the uh, where you guys are coming from and what your roles are. Huge variance, isn't there? You know, it's not just we're all student services professionals or we're working in a faculty. Huge range in terms of where we're coming from. Uh, that's about personal interest and, and career interest, but it's also about the composition and the structure of our universities in our own sectors and our own settings so teasing that out I think is going to be really interesting to see whether I don't know what we do here in the UK um, you know would work through a different cultural lens taking it back to Finland or Germany or the States and, and vice versa so um, so uh, we're going to run through that then you've got a campus tour which um, we're going to stick to. We'll see where we go. We hope we've got enough umbrellas, but you guys are fine with that, aren't you? Everyone's got their own. Yeah, absolutely. A walk in the rain, you know, it's okay. And from the sounds of it, it's raining everywhere across Europe anyway, so we don't have to apologise, which is, which is pretty good. Um, after that, we're going to head back here and have some lunch. So I think we've got a buffet, but there is also going to be a, a kind of marketplace information stand, so a few... Uh, colleagues from across our services are going to be here so you get the opportunity to talk to them and uh, and for them to also have some questions and engage in the in the program um, and then this afternoon we've got a couple of what hopefully will be interesting sessions we're going to spend an hour um, talking about digital media and how that's played you know an increasingly important role in terms of how we deliver services to students and uh, Alana is going to lead on that um, and that is both talking about our experiences, so you know the fact that three years ago the idea of using Twitter uh, was a pretty scary thing and, and something that led us to all kinds of kind of moral discussions about where our place is within that, to a point now where we just can't do without it and also we can't do without professionals have, have an awareness and a, and a confidence around it. Um, we are then going to have two split sessions, one which is around uh, the start of that session will be about um, peer mentoring and resident support. Um, and then the second, we're actually going to go over to the Students' Union and our Vice President for Welfare is going to talk about what a Students' Union is in the UK. Um, so it's, you know, not all countries have Students' Unions or representation uh, and they are very different in the UK, very political organisations. Um, structured with students at the top making decisions on behalf of or, or at least pushing the university to make some fairly serious strategic uh, decisions. Um, she's also going to talk a bit more in detail about how students at Kiel support other students. She'll talk about um, a listening service, a walk home service and she'll also talk about some recent work she's done in, in the context of um, sexual violence and consent. So that should be, should be quite interesting. Um, that's your campus tour. Uh, we've asked Alana to make sure you cover every square inch of this. Uh, only joking. So we've got a bit of a route so you can see some of the core services. Um, and just to make sure for this evening, um, when you head over to Keel Hall, you know exactly where you're going to be going. Um, and this is the Students' Union. So, in, and in the UK, you know, there's often a lot of confusion in the sense that the Students' Union is just a bar or a club it's where people go out and it, and it is that you know and this happens a couple of times every every week but actually it's a lot more than that so I'm hoping that Natalie can really get across to you the uh, significant role that that organization which is connected but not to the university plays in the in the role of students okay so that's today that's kind of setting the scene by the end of that, you'll have a bit of a better sense of where we're coming from as a university, maybe seeing some of the, the kind of connections uh, with the work that you guys are doing. Um, and then tomorrow, we're, we're heading to Staffordshire University, which is four miles down the road 
really quick drive down there, but we're going to take a bit of a detour uh, and visit a pottery factory, as you do, um, which is the local heritage to Stoke. So um, as you drive around the city, you'll see lots of old uh, old factories. Uh, and I think I said in a Facebook message, we've, we've got a kind of resident potter in our team. So at our away day last week she gave us a pottery lesson so we're going to do the same for you guys hopefully at the end of the week so you can produce something that is a memento of your visit uh, and i think claire said something about this last week this was on a recent reality tv program in the uk so uh you know individuals making making their wares and being judged on it um so that should be fun it should be really fun you ever been yes yes I have. Been that's there, really yeah? good yeah, yeah. I went when Caroline was there doing a craft fair actually, so oh, she did. was there exhibiting and then I had a look around this Great. Place. Uh, and then we'll head over and see our colleagues at Staffordshire University. Um, so yeah, that's our, our, our closest um, institution to Kiel. Um, different type of university, bigger university, um, around about 20, uh, 20 odd thousand students. Um, quite a lot of part-time programs, vocational pathways, uh, as well, a lot of the, I mean, the, the Staffordshire is called the Creative County, and there's a lot of uh, creative um, programs, and it's a much bigger feeder institution for local schools and colleges. So a lot more local students will filter through to Staffordshire, and indeed mature students as well. Um, so we'll we'll drive through to uh, to Staffs, and there we're going to have a couple of interesting sessions. We're going to hear from. Mick, who is the chaplain at the university, but he's quite a character. Um, so he's going to talk about actually delivering uh, support and services to students of faith um, uh, within a within a city institution. Um, let me just grab my uh, program, um, and they are also going to talk a little bit about um, student advice more generally and academic misconduct. Um, and that should be nice. I think we're getting afternoon tea as well, which mm. is all very nice. They're putting mm. a bit of a show on, uh, which will be lovely. We were talking about that yesterday, weren't we? we some of us really like cake, so we're Well, that's fine. <laughs> we can do that. Perfect you know. lunch. Absolutely, yeah. Or you can task one of us each day to bring a new cake in every morning. You know. Yeah, we also have some very good bakers in our department. Oh, yeah, Lana's a great cake maker. She uh -huh. is. <laughs> um, and then we're going to... Um, we, we thought, you know, by the time we get to sort of the end of the afternoon, um, we were thinking what to do. So we're going to take you to Trenton Gardens, which is a nice way of winding down at the end of the day. Um, so we'll get you in, into the into the gardens. I'm really hoping the weather's going to pick up because it is is gorgeous in there. Uh, but there are also shops as well. So if any of you guys are, uh, you know, being tasked with uh, purchasing presents for families and loved ones, then that's uh, or yourselves, perhaps you, whatever it might well be. Um, then that's the place to be, and we'll be eating at David's Brasserie in the evening before coming back to uh, to campus. And then on uh, Wednesday, we're going to head in the other direction. So we're we're driving into kind of deepest, darkest Shropshire um, to Harper Adams University. And Harper Adams is a is a gorgeous little university actually, which has undergone quite a lot of development in the last four or five years in terms of its infrastructure and its accommodation. Uh, but it's home to around about 3,000 students. A lot more of a college feel about it. Um, some really, you know, sort of fusion of very old buildings with modern new student services centres, which, which you'll get a tour of. Um, but it's an agricultural institution, so a lot of farming, equine, all of that. Um, and the team there are going to talk about some of the challenges and the opportunities that are brought with, with working in a smaller institution. Um, so I'm not sure, who, in terms of your universities, who's closest to that size? Number of students, are we much, much bigger? Yeah, we all are. So that, that will be interesting to see how they operate. And we, Joe, who's here, who you'll meet, we talk quite a lot about that, you know, in terms of how do you support students walking through the door in a much bigger institution? Um, and, and if you think about the week, we're going to go from Harper, which is 3,000 students, three to 4,000 students, to Manchester, which is 33,000 students. So, you know, you're going to see a real range in terms of what that, uh, what that service and that provision, that provision is. 
Uh, I just threw a picture of the pub that we're going into there. So we'll, we're going to, on the drive back, we'll stop off and have a meal, which will be very nice. Uh, and then uh, we get through to Thursday and we're going to jump on a train and head up to Manchester. So all of that's been arranged. We'll get into Manchester um, and the focus for the day is going to be around residents life. They've done a big piece of work. 20,000 students. Fab. Okay. <laughs> so we, we've got a real range, haven't we? You know, um, we, uh, they've done a big piece of work trying to think about how they provide effective care and support, but also developmental programs within their halls of residence. So I think they've got a, the program supports about 4,000 students. Um, Claire actually met Paula uh, on a study tour in Florida. Weather was fabulous. It was amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and have really developed a good relationship in terms of what we're aiming to do and, and what it is they've done over the course of the last two to three years. Um, but they've put some time aside to show us around the halls, talk about actually where that pilot went and what they're intending to do in the future. Uh, and then I think we're finishing with a walking tour they've arranged in the city which is great for us as well, because it's often you just get into a city, <coughs> do your work, and then get out again. So the opportunity to learn and explore a bit more about um, Manchester is, is great. Sorry, bear with me. I think the computer's on there. Catch up. I'm going too fast. The I'm computer's still there, uh, waking up from the weekend. Okay. Right, so we just talked a little bit about who we are and what we do and, and all of those things. So we thought, and I'm sure that you've chatted this through in your flat and in the pub and everything else, but we, uh, we've got a couple of exercises just to get us going. Um, so if we maybe just turn to somebody next to us working pairs and just have a bit of a conversation about where you're coming from really. So just a couple of things to think through where it is you work, um, and I think when I was looking at what's special about it, you know, because again, last night, it's, and there's a session later where we talk about the challenges and the difficulties, but maybe what's special about your institution? Why do you work there? What do you love about it? Um, what your role is, what that encompasses, and again, what's special about that role? What do you enjoy most about it? Um, and how have you got to where you're at? So just as we said, you know, what's been the route to get you to where you are? So maybe if we just spend five or ten minutes pairing up and talking that through, and then we'll feed that back to the group so we've got a little bit of a deeper understanding about who's in the room. Does that sound cool? Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, I'm not putting you in pairs, by the way. 